This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to Richard Burns Rally for another video. In this video, I'm going to be taking on some of my old favourite stages in the game to see, frankly, if I've still got it. I've not driven Richard Burns for quite a while now and this is a sort of game where you need to keep up practice because it is very challenging and will kick your ass at the first opportunity it has. This is also the first time I'm going to be driving with my new equipment in Richard Burns. Last time I drove this was with the T500 quite a while ago. Since then, I've upgraded big time. Obviously, got the OSW, got the Husingvall pedals, and the Fanatec shifter and handbrake. And you know what? I turned this game on, and it all just worked straight away. No fiddling with stuff, no no fixes, no silliness. It all just worked straight out of the box. And if you're an OSW owner, you will know that is just not a thing. So I was super impressed with that. Firstly, we'll be heading to the British Rally, specifically to Harwood Forest. Now, I think of Harwood Forest as a sort of beginner stage. Beginner's probably the wrong word, introduction stage to Richard Burns Rally. The reason for that is because this is actually one of the first stages you have access to, and it's the first stage I ever drove in Richard Burns Rally. So if you don't know this stage, you just haven't driven Richard Burns enough. Being as it's Richard Burns, we're going to start off with the Subaru Impreza to honour, of course, the late, great Richard Burns himself. And because the Japanese headband wills it, we must drive a Japanese car. We will be driving in a way that Richard Burns Rally is meant to be driven with realistic car damage. This means we can't just throw the car around. We've got to take care of it to get it into the stage whilst bordering on that thin line between speed and safety. Here we are then, Harwood Forest in Richard Burns Rally with our Subaru Impressor just waiting for that countdown now. Here it goes. Three, two, two, one. one. Revs up. First gear and away we go. Up for the gears super quickly. Of course, we are in the rally car with lots of torque, so good to get up those gears straight away. And immediately, I am met with four speed back that doesn't belong in a game. That is this old, I can tell you that already. And you can see already that I'm airing on the side of caution, of course. Having that realistic damage means that it's super easy just to end your rally just by hitting the smallest and most unassuming of shrubs. If I spit everywhere. <laughs> nice and easy through here. Car is not too great of elevation already in sixth gear using all that torque. Fifth gear now. Slow through this section because the car always understeers. I think I always do that in every video through there. And now a little bit of handbrake through here just to get the car rotating. Uh, a little bit slow through there, but we're okay, which is the important thing for a four. Bam! Before we go, fifth. Nice and soft through here. Got the pedal cam on as well. You can see my inputs. A lot of it is just terrified inputs, as you can see. Easy braking, sixth gear. Oh, no, down to fifth. Back of the car. Big hit there as we landed, and it really unsettled us through there. Fourth gear, come on, bring us out. Nice. Fifth again. Uh, anyone who's played Richard Burns before will know driving through here at this speed is just always that little bit terrifying. <laughs> really ragging us through here. I must say, again, I'm impressed at how this feels on an OSW. This thing, an OSW, was a long way away from becoming a thing when this game came out. And to have it work so well is super impressive. Big old handbrake slider yanking that Fanatec handbrake. Really like having that here, and of course, being, it being on the right side of the car, this car is left hand drive, all my stuff's on the right hand side as well. Just adds to that immersion a bit more. Now, I know there's actually a, uh, a VR patch for this, I might give that a go at some point, but as you might remember from my drifting video, uh, I get a little bit motion sick sometimes. Got to be careful of the bumps, very easy to stall over the bumps if you're on the brake. Just balancing between the front and brake quite a lot here. and. You might notice that some of the time I'm actually got a dual input. I've got brake and throttle on at the same time. The rally score of this game, which I really recommend you try if you haven't uh, played this game before, because it gives you a lot of good tips, and I mean good tips, actually recommends and encourages you to use both inputs at once to try and get the car to turn up by four seconds on my best time, which is good. I've gone through here once before just to get a feel for things. It's nice to go through it again. I'm already feeling myself get warm, that sweatiness coming back, the, the Richard Burns rally sweats. That's the uh, biological condition that I willingly suffer from. Oh, that gate there, very just ready to consume you if you're not careful. And I might be doing okay so far, but let me tell you, when things go wrong in Richard Burns, they go wrong very quickly. We break just for the bump here because the corner comes up. There you go, nice, that wasn't too bad. A little bit tardy through there, but not awful. 
Of course, I can just about, just about distinguish between my own commentary and the pace notes, so that's just about keeping me alive right now. Put the pace notes as far forward as they possibly can be. That's just my preference. So, tail of handbrake there to get us round. Nice, that actually look professional. That's the thing with Richard Burns, you start off being absolutely awful, and then after a while, you actually start feeling like a proper rally driver, which, as a sim racer, is just what you want. That is the end of it. So there you go then, last corner, over the timing line. Nice! Not bad at all for our second run through there in a long time, and... Whew, I I want some more. I want some more! Now, as you can probably tell, I had a lot of fun driving that British stage. So this time, let's go to Japan and to the infamous Noika stage. This is the longest stage in the stock game, just under 14 kilometers. And to to make it a little bit more difficult, shall we go with the bad conditions? Why not? Let's, let's suffer. I'm going to drive the car I did my first ever hardcore season mode in the Peugeot 206. It only actually has five gears, which is odd, but you get used to it. And uh, let's jump into what will be a very slippery, very scary stage. I am totally prepared for this. Although not really. See, visibility already at a premium. And there is the very brave Japanese guy just in a t-shirt. And away we go, slipping and sliding for Noika in the wet, in the Peugeot. I'm going to be even more careful through here. Ooh, already big bump through there. I forgot about that bump. Fifth gear, top gear already. Co-drivers willing us to keep it flat, but I don't trust that man. He's insane. No, thank you. No, thank you. Easy, easy. Okay, cool. Being very cautious through here. Keeping it in fifth gear. Keeping that torque there for now. Being told to cut this fast right. There it is. I can see it. Well, I'm going to actually come down the gears a little bit. I don't trust that. Car is so slippy, even on these wet tires. Still trying to get away from me. I'm just being very careful over all these crests. It's a long stage this time, and again, we are on the realistic damage. So one little mistake will be the end, and already we're giving the suspension a bit of a pounding. Using out. Oh, I see that slide through there. Come on, four-wheel drive. Bring us out. Bring us out. Bit of handbrake to get us round. That sort of work. No, no, bad, bad. Cross myself up a little bit there. Handbrake is good for the flare, but you've got to know when to use it. Sometimes I, I'm a little bit guilty of hitting the handbrake for the sake of it. Easy now, come on. Softly. Third gear. I hate being as soft as possible for this downhill. Of course, when you're going downhill, gravity is against you. You speed up oh so quickly, and before you know it, you're heading off into a hedge at 60 mile an hour. 90 left coming up. I was here, I can always forget where it is. Try and get the flick going on. Uh, that sort of worked. I'm a little bit out of practice. In between gears there. So weird having this smaller gearbox. You get used to it over the course of a long time driving, but again, this is my first time driving the Peugeot. Probably since I put out that uh, hardcore season mode back in either late 2013 or early 2014. Seems like a long time ago anyway. We're good to be driving it again regardless. Nice and soft. There you go. Bring it in nicely. The thing is though, even though this car is slippy and slidey, the information that I'm getting through the wheel is... I'm, I'm really loving it. I've got the wheel set on 100% force here back in the profiler, but down to, well, quite limited. I think it's on five bars in the game itself, so it's actually quite light. But again, give me the information that I need just to, to get through what I'm doing. Softly now. Okay. Concentration going in now. We are about maybe a third of the way through the stage at the moment. So a long way to go. And I'm loving these challenging conditions. Interesting that because I'm just trying to get through the stage, I'm in sort of recording mode right now. I'm not I'm maybe driving at about 85, 90%. Just in the effort just to try and get through the stages because I know one little mistake will mean the end of it and I'll have to redo the stage. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably keep it in just for the sake of showing you that Richard Burns is still capable of kicking my ass. I'm really glad that I downloaded Someone mentioned it the other day and I thought, why haven't I got that installed on my PC? And I just did it and here I am now having you can see the smile on my face. Can't fake that. 
Ah, no, 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 that would have been it. If we touched that tree, that would have been us done. That's how scary it is in Richard Burns. And you you find yourself constantly just walking this fine line between trying to carry as much speed as possible and just trying to live. <laughs> just trying to stay alive. It's absolute awesome fun. Fourth gear. Unfortunately, I don't know where you can get Richard Burns for nowadays. My version was from Games Planet. And I think they stopped selling it a long time ago. But unfortunately, they, well, fortunately, they still let me download it. So that's good. GRM3 and all that. Nice and easy over the crest. I can't really see that far, even though I've got the pace notes. I'm relying a lot on my actual vision just because I'm a little bit scared. That's going to be a tree! 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 Oh no! Ah! <laughs> you see? You see? Richard Burns still biting. Ah! So after my rather bad exit from Neuker. Not the first time this happens, I can tell you that. We're going to go to the USA for what I think is one of the most intense and one of the fastest stages in this game, and that is Fraser Wells. As you can see, this stage is five kilometers long, but with a stage record of two minutes and 13 seconds. If you can see the diagram there, you can see just why this stage is so ridiculous. It is super fast. You spend a lot of time banging the limiter in shift gear and a lot of the time just trusting in your co-driver. So what better way to end off this video? Our weapon for the stage will be the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 7. And this is actually my car of choice when driving in Richard Burns, just because I enjoy how it looks and I just get on the best with it. So hopefully I can put on a good show and get to the end of this stage this time. Okay then, Mitsubishi Evo, Fraser Wells, our gear set super high for this stage. And away we go, hold on for the ride of your life, Richard Burns style, here we go. Over the first bump, nice and easy. Rear end gets kicked up. I've been to sixth already, but we're going back down to about third gear. Try and get a wheel on that little bump there. I miss that up, but don't worry. Away we go, back up to fifth gear. Throw it to the right. And now, make sure your seatbelt is tightened because we are not getting off this throttle for a long time now. Keep it flat through here, through the bump. There you go, shift gear, 200 k's, there it is! Getting right to the top of the rev range now! All my movements have to be super... <laughs> Very careful with my inputs here in the steering, we're going so fast! Nearly 140 mile an hour for braking! Down the fourth gear, into fifth, past the rock on the left! <laughs> Back up to shift gear, keep it tight through here! Fifth gear! Just dancing between the throttle and the brake! Throttle is your best friend for here, it pulls you out of all the scary situations. Back up to sixth gear. Oh, a little bit skewed with over the, uh, the jump. Be a, bit, be a bit careful over this crest, keep it tight. Oh, my line for that was bad, but we just about kept it alive. Ending braking to slow down on the brakes, using the hill as well to, to slow us. Gets a bit more tricky towards the end here, lots of crests. You've got to keep it fast though. I'm locking up, don't be doing that too much, watch out for these bumps and I go try and go for the centre of them, there you go, nice! Commentary's a bit ragged right now because I'm concentrating! Big time! Go, 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 there you go! Keep, keep your foot in it, be brave! This is one constant be brave call this is! <laughs> Come on now! Finish coming up I think, there it is! And... break! Brilliant! Fantastic! Ah, oh, this game's still got it! <laughs> now that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Richard Burns Rally is still the king. That was awesome fun. I really enjoyed making that video. If you enjoyed it too, make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. I'm going to leave you now with the replay from that very epic, very fun Fraser World stage. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.